What's going on, Spyro fans? Welcome back to another episode of Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. I am your host, Under Him Gaming, everybody. Welcome back. We're standing in front of Seashell Shore, where we're going to be doing our next little mission. But before we do that, I'm going to go back to the original world right now. I'm going to just do the little side quest. Uh, because I have a feeling that it's going to be an easy one. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, like I said, guys, once I am done uh, pretty much uh, completing all of the little worlds on this map, I'm going to go on ahead and complete the little side challenges once I'm done with every realm. I really hope you guys have been enjoying the series thus far. The playlist is in the description below. Spyro is a legendary video game, and a lot of you guys seem to have been enjoying it thus far, and I'm really grateful of that. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, so I'm just going to show you guys where to go real quick for those those of you out there who don't know, just, just get rid of these freaking Rhinox. These giant Rhinox wielding giant chicken bones, which I don't understand, but whatever. It is what it is, man. Spyro, Spyro had its ups and downs. Um, right here is where you're going to be doing your little side mission. And uh, I really can't wait. Here we go. All right, what's this? I found this gladiator training arena. Really? It's a pretty cool skate park. Look. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Uh, sure. Let's go. I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Oh, bitch, please. You do not know who I is. All right, catch all the lizards. Here we go, guys. We have to capture all these freaking lizards. I, I forgot how to do this. Man. Oh, yeah, I forgot how to do this. All right, well, bear with me, guys, because this might take longer than expected. Oh my god, but I, I was actually reading you guys' feedbacks in the comment section below. I remember in the previous episode I asked you guys how would you guys feel about a movie. A lot of you guys actually loved the idea, except some of you guys actually went on to say that it would be a bad idea because they would uh, pretty much downgrade Spyro and they would not cast the original Spyro from the first three games. Now. That may be up for debate because depending on certain situations, um, I, I, I personally would love to see a movie where they incorporate the actual spiral that we have now. Um, granted, I mean, with the right director and producer and if they have the original voice actors for, you know, Hunter and, and Sheila and, you know, just Spyro as a whole. Because if they have a different voice actor for Spyro, it's going to suck. Now, I heard... Now, I heard that, uh, in other sp- Oh, fuck, I fell. No! Quickly! Get back on the skateboard. Damn it, I can't believe I fell off. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, I heard that in the other Spyro games, Spyro has a different voice. Now, if you guys can confirm or deny this for me, it, it would be a much, uh, much big help. Because if Spyro has a different voice than what he did in the original games. Why is that? I mean, I don't necessarily understand, uh, given the situation that Spyro is a legendary character, and he pretty much originated from the very first PlayStation. I really don't see why they would change his voice. That's like somebody changing Goku's voice, or somebody changing Metal Gear Solid's voice, you know, Solid Snake, or somebody changing Master Chief's voice, you know, it's not the same. So, um, honestly, I, I, I think with the original voice characters would be really good. Um, but honestly, I mean, after after looking at Spyro 3, after looking at Spyro 2, Spyro 1, even the fourth Spyro game, it kind of gets me thinking. It's like, well, what is in the future of Spyro, especially for Skylanders? Now, a lot of you guys were breaking down to me and explaining the Skylander story, and Skylanders, uh, it seems it seems to be okay. I mean, it's it's not Spyro as a whole. You know, it pretty much sucks. It's just him and his friends. Um, but I, I I really do miss the original classics. Like, this is a classic classic game guys and that's why I'm doing it for you guys so you guys can see how awesome the classics were um all right I have to catch five more suckers damn it this is taking longer than usual I mean it spirals on a skateboard for god's sakes all right four more uh but but see this is what made Spyro Spyro I mean just the silliness you know um sometimes it was originality now this is original when, when was the last time you played a game where you were a dragon that was able to wield all sorts of abilities and you're on a freaking skateboard trying to catch all these lizards, you know? It, it's really interesting, it's really unique, and I give much credit where credit is due, especially for uh, the PlayStation 1 era. Now, many of you guys watching this never, ever were alive, nor have you guys played the PS1 during your time. Most of you guys were born within the... Uh, PlayStation 3 era, the closing era of PlayStation 2, so uh, for many people, they wouldn't understand what it's like to play the PS1, even though right now people can still play it, and it's, it's really old school, but I mean, shit, man, playing this game right now. All right, one more freaking gopher lizard to go, and you're mine. There we go. Off with his head. All right, here we go. That was great. Oh, thank you, thank you. I found this in a lizard burrow. Oh, gee, I wonder what it is. Hunter isn't an egg. 
Oh, look, it's an egg, and it's called Emery. Yes, hello there, Emily. Yes, I'm gonna send you back to our planet. Right. Here we go. If you can catch all the lizards without wiping out, and before time runs out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. What do you mean you might be able to? Easy though. What does he mean by he might be able to give me another egg? That, that makes no sense. You're my friend. I helped you a long time ago. That's that, 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 that's fucked up. He's not going to give me the dragon egg because he wants me to burn all of these little lizards first. And I have three minutes to do so. All right. Well, I mean, it, it's not fair because what are friends for, right? A real friend wouldn't just allow you to go through a skate park to murder a bunch of lizards for an egg. He would just give you the damn egg. What kind of freaking friend is Hunter? I, I, I hope somebody throws him in a freaking pit of lava and they watch him freaking... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hunter's awesome. Him. But I mean, sh it's really messed up the way he just did that. Oh, well, I'll give you the egg if you uh, manage to defeat the lizards. <laughs> it's just so stupid. God. Uh, but l l like I said, guys, let me know in the comment section below on some of your classic favorite spiral moments. What were your favorite moments and why? My favorite moment was when uh, Ripto actually... Uh, he he kind of he, he kind of lo well when Crush first got killed in, in the second game he kind of went ape shit and something with gulp happened I really forgot it's really not uh, vivid in my memory but uh it definitely involved Ripto and I I will be playing Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage after I'm done with Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon now the only reason why I decided to play Spyro 3 first is because I loved Spyro 3 more than anything although Spyro 2 was a classic and I loved that just as much uh, I'm gonna start where you know the best actually is and a lot of you guys well actually here's the surprise a lot of you guys don't want me to do the very first game with nasty Nordic and all that kind of stuff um now honestly uh, I, I, I really want to do the first game because I really want to get through with it but some of you guys don't want me to do it and I, I actually I'm, I'm gonna do it because uh I mean, what's Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 without Spyro 1? So, alright, I have to catch five more little freaking puff balls before I can just get out of here. And yes, guys, this is very annoying. I know some of you guys may be annoyed right now, but hey, I need that egg. In order for me to go through, I need more eggs. More eggs for Spyro. I nearly just died right there. Holy God. Um, but like I said, guys, I mean, if, if you're planning on playing this game, and if you're planning on finding all of the eggs and getting all the gems, this is what you need to watch right here. Now, honestly, I'm, I'm just going to say this. I'm not going to collect all the gems for this little place right now. I'm going to wait until I have, uh, you know, uh, pretty much unlocked all of the worlds in, in this little realm before I can go back and just fix everything else up. Uh, but like I said, you do need gems. Collect as much as, much as possible because money bags will be after you. Oh my god, come on. Holy god, 26 more seconds. And come here, little gopher lizard. Alright, get my egg, fool. Was sweet, and look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. You're not my friend. You're not my real friend. Honestly, Hunter's not my real friend. This this, this is baloney. And instead of just giving me the egg, he just wants to mess with me. Ah, oh, God, I Hunter. I fucking Hunter. Hey, you're not even my boy anymore, man. Uh, I don't see Hunter as my boy anymore. If something happens to him, I don't give a damn. All right, so I'm, I, I just wanted to collect those real quick. All right, so I'm gonna exit the world right now. I'm gonna go on ahead and do the uh, seashore shores little. Uh, world right now, so I, I, I definitely remember that very vividly, so uh, but, I mean, guys, this game, you have to appreciate classic games, uh, some people wanted me to do Siphon Filter, some people wanted me to do uh, Crash Bandicoot, Banjo Kazooie, you guys will see, I have some stuff in store for you guys, so, uh, alright 17 eggs, 8 lives, 604 gems, alright so, uh, I have to finish up the Sheila stuff as well, because she has some side missions as well, so this is going to be very, very difficult in an essence because I have to do all these freaking things right now. Alright, so we're going to enter the seashore, shall we? Yes. Alright, here we go, guys. We're going to enter the little seashore. We're going to go on ahead and collect everything there is to collect down there. And then after we're done with that, we're going to come back up. We're going to resurface like the Hydra that we are. I mean, I mean, can you imagine if they had a Hydra as a boss in the future Spyro games? That would have been amazing. My friend borrowed the Rhinox submarine. What? Took it for a Why? Why? And then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oh, I wonder why. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in the story and stuck my friends in the jail behind you. Stupid! Freaking stupid! God, these little guys are out here driving submarines and shit. Whatever, man. I, 
All right, this is gonna be a little difficult because this is always inverted. So uh, if you want to go up, you have to freaking go down with your analog stick, and if you want to go down, you have to go up with your analog stick. It's it's really annoying. I mean, but like I just said, can you imagine if they had like a multi-headed Hydra as like a villain? I mean, because look, look at these villains. They're just a bunch of rhinoceroses. You know, it's just like I, I I fought rhinos holding chicken bones. I fought rhinos holding you know harpoon guns. I fought rhinos that are mummified. So why not add different enemies? I mean, I I don't know, guys. I haven't played any of the other Spyro games. So I wouldn't really know but if I was the creator of Spyro I wouldn't go down the same route as they went down towards in the last couple of decades because to me personally Spyro 3 wasn't the same after the third one in a, in a sense I remember the fourth one being good but then after that I really forgot what it was like to ever to ever play Spyro because I heard it was bad and I played one game that was just terrible uh, I played Legend of the Dragon it was bad um, so honestly guys, let me know in the comment section below on the list and order of the Spyro games and which ones you guys like from uh, least to best. So, let me just go on ahead and collect all of these real quick. How many lives do I have right now? I'm gonna have like, what, nine? Yes, nine. Nine lives. There we go. Alright, we're back on shore. Here we go. Alright, let's always forget to collect the gems. Also guys, let me know in the comment section below on your thoughts on the, uh, side. Okay, yeah, I get it. Um, let me know in the comment section below on who your favorite side characters are in, in, in this game. Aside from Hunter, because a lot of you guys would choose Hunter. So let me know in the comment section below on some of your favorites. Is it the Penguin? Is it the Abominable Snowman? Is it Sheila? I mean, let me know in the comment section below on who your favorite side characters are, guys. Because there are some in this game that are really, really cool. I mean, I haven't seen the ones towards the end yet because I really forgot. Oh, look, Jason. Jason hatched from your egg, yes. Oh, don't cry. You're officially, you're, you're officially Paul, crying and shit. All right, we have 18 eggs, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to go on ahead and continue this before we do anything else. So, But I really have to thank you guys for watching this from the bottom of my heart. You guys are just amazing all of you i mean really the only reason why you guys are watching this is because you have an interest in watching spyro correct and maybe perhaps you're thinking about playing the game or maybe you are playing the game i don't know but either or the game is legendary you guys are awesome for watching such a legendary game oh god hey. damn rhinos you had an anchor tattoo that did not make you a tough guy that made you a little wimp like a girl all right so let me see here 710 gems and all of that's going to be gone because money bags is a money hump fucking oh all right let me see here real quick i know there's a side mission or a few of them down here so and i haven't really pressed the select button to check my stats yet because i'm planning on unlocking everything first before i do that so let me see right quick i need to unlock the penguin dude mr sergeant because if i don't unlock him then i'm not going to be able to find the, uh, the last couple of characters that I need to get out of this world, so if I could just be able to do that, it should be fine. I, I, I don't know how many eggs I need to uh, get to the sorceress. I do believe it's about 100, so we're not that, I mean, eh, I, I would say we're, we're behind, yes, but it's just like we're close to 20, so we're a third on the way there, so shouldn't be that hard at this point, but uh, I, I don't know, guys, just this game, playing this game right now is just, oh, it's so awesome, it's so different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because before this, before playing this today, actually, I was, I was playing Titanfall, and I was playing a little bit of Call of Duty. So I was just like, man, I'm, I'm really getting tired of just, like, third-person shooter games. Oh, for first-person shooters, excuse me. Uh, I'm thinking about Gears of War. Um, so I was just like, L let me go on ahead and play something else real quick. So I played Spyro, and I'm playing Spyro right now, and it's just, it, it's, it's a humbling feeling. It, it's a humble feeling because you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, games like this are never going to come back in our, in our era. Because uh, games today are just meant to be like Call of Duty and stuff, which kind of sucks because games today are just being, you know, uh, used for marketing rather than satisfying the consumer. It's just like, all right, here, buy our game and that's it. We, we don't care about what you think. You know, I, I, that sucks, really. So, but I mean, like I said, guys, I was playing uh, Spyro Year of the, well, not Year of the Dragon, uh, the uh, Legend of the Dragon, I believe, for the Xbox 360. And honestly, guys, I was not digging it. He had a girlfriend and all that crap, and I'm just like, this is, this is horrible. Like, I, 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 I really was was not digging this. I mean, even though he was like an adult or like a teenager or whatever the hell it was, I, I wasn't digging it for the simple fact that it's not the same Spyro I remember. I mean, yeah, you don't have to keep him as a kid, but the the, the controls were horrible, and the story just seemed bleh to me. It was, it wasn't really as good, so. 
damn fucking Rhinox shooting harpoons at me. Like I said, guys, collect everything you can possibly collect. Let me see here. All right, there's another one. We have 816. Must keep pushing myself. And you know, well, you know what sucks? I'm the only damn dragon amongst the freaking other dragons in the kingdom that can fit down this little hole just to get here and save my freaking people. That's that that sucks, man. That's a lot of responsibility. Yes, please free your friend so I can get the heck out of here because I'm a dragon. I'm, I'm not so fond with water. Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Aw, oh, you're, you're, you're too kind. I mean, I, 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 I probably thought you was going to eat it too. I don't know. Dizzy. All right. Hello there, Mr. Dizzy. Aw, oh, cute little dragon guy. You know, now that I think about it, all these dragons that I'm collecting and shit, they were never showcased in any of the uh, any of the other games, were they? For example, I have what 19 eggs right now. I have 19 eggs, so that means I should be saving 19 dragons, right? So whatever happened to these 19 dragons that I'm saving in other video games? You know, how come they never showcased the the, the dragons that you saved in the third game? You know, like. Uh, when, when they're all grown up or when they're like Spyro's age, all thankful and stuff, you know, when they see Spyro as an adult, they're like, hey, look, it's Spyro, our savior, he saved us back in like, you know, when, when the sorceress stole us as eggs and stuff like that, you know? I, I, I think that would have been a lot better. Alright, so we're gonna do this little side mission real quick because I really need 20 eggs right now. I need 20 eggs so I can go on ahead and complete the mission. Dragon egg for you, but we used it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. What? The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The okay. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. Yo, you stupid seals. I swear to God. The tunnel is chock full of Rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single Rhinox in the tunnel. That shouldn't be a problem for Spyro. I am made for this. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I'm going too fast. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Holy crap. Come on. Focus, 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 focus. All right, guys. This is not easy. I remember when I was a kid, I was never able to do this. Holy God. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on, Alex. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm going to mess up. 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 Don't mess up. Don't mess up. <gasps> Don't one more, one more, one more, one more. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Yes. Surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. Holy guys. All of our submarines will be egg-shaped. Okay, I, I really don't care, Sandy the Seal. Anyways, guys, when I was a kid, I was never able to do that. Wow, I still got it. That's crazy. I still got the skills, man. 20 eggs. All right, we've saved 20 dragons, and now we're just going to go on ahead and go back. Uh, there was one world that I saw, that you guys saw with me, that I needed 20 eggs to unlock. I think I showcased it in the second episode, so we're going to go on ahead and see what that is all about. But, uh... I'm definitely going to have to go back now and try to get all of the eggs from all of the other worlds in order for me to move on forward. So, all right, let's check real quick. Before we do anything, guys, let's check real quick just to be safe. All right, because I, I want to see what world this is before I do anything. So, all right, what is this? What is this? Come on, come on, come on. All right, Mushroom Speedway. All right, um... Before I do that, actually, I'm going to go on ahead and check this place real quick. This is going to allow me to leave, so I want to see if I have enough people. Oh, wait, do I? I don't know. Fuck. I want to repay you for saving me from that octopus. We can help you use this hot air balloon if you just bring back someone from each of the other worlds. But that's what I did. I have all of you guys there. All of you guys are already here, so it's just like... Oh, you guys fucking suck. All right, let me see. There's got to be somebody that I'm missing right now. I'm not entirely sure. Let me see. Uh, let me just check the mushroom speedway. I highly doubt it's a world where somebody needs saving. It's probably just what it says, a speedway. So I'm not entirely sure. Let me just go on ahead and check. It's always better to be safe than sorry. So let me just go on ahead and check real quick. I mean, I, I, because I, I don't want to be like one behind or something. It, it looks like they were full. So what is this? All right, which challenge would you like to? Do? Oh, okay. Uh, time attack race. Yep, yeah, the, yep. I, I kind of figured. All right, cool. So that is actually meant for a speedway, sort of say. So I'm just gonna get out of here. Um, now I need to figure out. Wait, but everybody's already on there, so that makes no sense. Who, who do I need to free? It, it's got to be the penguin dude. It has to be the sergeant. It just has to be Mr. Sergeant. Without him, I really. Let me see. Let me see something real quick, guys. All right, here's the atlas. All right, so we need to... One more. All right, so let me see here. 
One more egg in this world, and then we completed it. All right, uh, a couple more gems. Uh, two more here. We have two more here. We have, oh damn, four more here. Uh, three more here, and this is the time attack. Help Bobby get home. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm definitely gonna go back and help Bobby get home. All right, so from that, I should have a total of three more eggs headed my way real soon. But look at this, everybody's already on, so that makes no sense. Let me see something real quick. Uh, yeah, unless I'm missing somebody. Yeah, I have to be missing somebody, to be quite frank. Let me, let me just ask this kid one more time. I want to repay you for saving Yep, yeah, I, I, I definitely need one more person, I believe. All right, well, whatever. Anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching this episode of Spyro. My name is Unentertainment Gaming, everybody. If you guys are Spyro fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Spyro news, information, and updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to hit the video up with a like and a favorite. Please, guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Help spread this video, guys, to help support the series. We've just unlocked Mr. Liam. So thank you all for watching, everybody. Be sure to check out my previous episodes because there are a lot more where that came from. Uh, so guys, stay tuned for more. Check out my previous episodes. The link will be in the description below. Stay tuned for more, everybody. God bless you all, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next episode. Peace.